Hey guys and gals, this is Sionic Arrow with the Type 2597 Chiha, the Tier 3 Chinese light tank. A few things to know about this tank. It has the second lowest amount of armor compared to all other Tier 3 uh, light tanks. I believe the lowest one is the British tanks uh, with their minimal armor. This guy's got 240 hit points with a 240 horsepower engine so it's <coughs> not very fast it's it's okay I mean for a tier 3 40 cars per hour is it's, it's an acceptable speed for this tank uh, the main thing you'll want with this tank is the gun it's a tier 4 cannon uh, it's a 47 millimeter with 81 millimeters of penetration and 70 damage uh, 0.44 accuracy and a 2.3 second aiming time. 20 rounds per minute rate of fire, so that's approximately 3.5 seconds. Um, and you'll find that with 81 millimeters of penetration, you'll be shooting, uh, you know, any tank tier 3 and below, you'll be penetrating definitely. Even the AMX 38 with its huge amount of armor is going to have problems when you're firing this gun at them. Uh, 330 meter view range and I've only got a 400 meter signal range because if you check over here the uh, Type 3 Otsu 700 meters that is researchable for 4000 experience but it uh, it only applies to this vehicle. It doesn't. You can't take this radio and put it on anything else. And because it's a tier three, um, you know, it's not really necessary. You, I've already unlocked the M5A1 steward, and I didn't need the radio. Uh, obviously, the next tier tank, tier four, also has its own radio. Uh, it's actually the same one as the American, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Crew, well, I've got a 77% crew because I've been playing. Well, these are the same crews that I have for from the beginning, so they did get a little bit more experience than usual. Uh, equipment, I just put in these guys here that are removable for free. You don't need gold to demount these this uh, this equipment. So binoculars, camouflage net, and a toolbox. Uh, I've got a full set of consumables, which I only use in case of dire emergencies. Like, I know I can get out of there and survive, otherwise I'm just gonna, you know, sit there and not waste 3,000 credits. Uh, I'm using 88 rounds of armor piercing and 16 HE. You don't really need any premium rounds, but if you're interested, premium rounds is 130 millimeters of penetration, 70 damage. And that's that's impressive that's about uh, tier 5 tier 6 tank average penetration uh, I know the German tier 6 mediums have 132 on their biggest gun or their top gun but it you know that's what you get with uh, the Chiha so let's take a look at a replay oh wait before that I should mention the turret is mounted on the right side of the tank it's not as much as on the Vickers Mark E Type B. This guy here, it's actually really on the left side of the tank. On the Chiha, it's on the right side, but it's not as, you know, it, it's, it's not completely off center. And it doesn't actually provide that much of an advantage because the turret is mounted almost in the middle of the tank. Uh, and that should be it. <coughs> So let's take a look at that replay. And here we are on Corellia, and I'm gonna have to warn you guys right now, this is not a very entertaining game. I don't have a lot of uh, good gameplay for this guy. I did, uh, there is, you don't need a lot of experience to get out of this tank. So, uh, I don't find it completely necessary to play this tank to death to get Good game. This is just a game that displays this tank, well, the capabilities of tank um, with his gun. So it's not a very fast tank, but it is capable of moving at speed. 
and uh, you get a, uh, a sense of the aiming time and low shooting speeds as well. So here we are, Kaiser 38T. That aiming time. First shot misses, but it's okay. We nailed it back. No, that uh, the enemy Chihaw's going down there. So here I go. I'm gonna back up the cruiser four. Looks like he's the one on this side of the wall, so he might need a little bit of help. There we go, 64 damage. And that's the power of having a gun that does quite a bit of damage. You can take them out and less, fewer shots. And, uh, you know, deal a lot of damage as well. So uh, I waited a little longer, I wanted to aim it, but that's okay. I didn't want to get any damage on it. And our team is completely destroyed, it seems. So this is just one of those average games that I'm getting this take. I haven't actually had any spectacular games in this guy. Uh, just a bunch of average ones, which means I could show you any of them, but this is the one. So, charging forward. Thankfully, I was already looking this way. Hello. And there is the Martyr 2. Right there. Shot. One's going to stay. 70 damage. Doesn't seem like he's got the top cannon. But it's really fast to win right here in less than 5 minutes. So, let's take a look at the stats. 352 points of experience, so that's actually not that much. It's probably average for a tier 3 tank. I got 2 kills, uh, down to 71% health. Let's see, credits earned. Non-premium, about 6,000. With a premium account, 9,000. Um, only did about 259... I'm sorry, I did exactly 259 points of damage to the enemy, so not that much. Four hits out of six shots, so I guess it's okay. It wasn't exactly 100% crew, but you can't ask for much. I just wanted to show you guys and gals a little bit of the tank and what it could do. I don't have any great games with this thing. It, I already have enough experience to go on to the next tank. So, thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments.